What's up, YouTube? Welcome to The Adventures of Mark and Finn Presents, appropriately named, At Week's End, where we go through the comics that came out this week that we we're interested enough to pick up, what we're reading, what we're excited about, and then just some books that uh, we've picked up along the way through the past week. So let's get started. Finn's running around the house. He's going to probably end up participating halfway through it. We'll see. But uh, I went back and got a cover A of The Sumerian. They did not have it last week when I went to pick it up. I ended up getting the uh, 1 in 10 ratio variant. But uh, it's a really cool story. It's the original Robert E. Howard stories that were now printed in comic format for the first time. So it's Die Hard Conan stuff. Check it out. I got the Batman 90 Jorge Jimenez sketch variant just because I like the art in it. I guess maybe because I'm excited for the Bat and the Cat, the Black Label book that uh, I think Tom King is writing that starts in December. But uh, yeah, that's a really awesome cover, so I had to go with one of those. And uh, I think my favorite read of the week was definitely Death Metal Trinity Crisis number one. That was awesome. Going through the big three crises in the DC history and uh, just... Kind of just turned up this whole death metal thing to another notch. It was awesome to see that the Batman who laughs beat him. All the heroes there and kind of already twisted events. And having Superboy Prime back in in the mix really, really turns things up. He's very unpredictable and psycho. And I love the fact of how powerful he is. He's an actual threat even to the big heavy hitters in DC. And then another big one from DC this week was Superman number 25. A new story arc starting with this new villain, Sinmar. That's the cover A. I don't know if that's going to be his name, but it's named the planet that all these alien races are from. But it was really cool. The interior art's fantastic. The cover's amazing. I went ahead and picked up both covers for that one. Just because I wanted to keep my cover A in nice condition. Who knows if it'll ever get legs and take off. But just in case, I've got a nice clean copy there for his first cover appearance. And uh, this one came out last week, but uh, this... I have misplaced it in a different stack of books. I have books everywhere in here, but this is one of my favorite things coming out right now. It's absolutely fantastic. Another story from Tom King. It's a Strange Adventures number five. It's the same creative team that did the 12 issue Mr. Miracle a couple years ago. And they got Evan Shaner on this one as well. And it's kind of like a dual story running where it's like the current storyline going on as well as like flashbacks. And every time they go into the flashback mode, you get that Evan Shaner artwork and it looks like real classic Hanna-Barbera style sci-fi stuff. So it fits it perfectly. But uh, yeah, that's really starting to kick off. If you're not reading that, you should definitely be reading that. So those are the only books that I picked up this past week. I didn't get any Marvel. I do read Marvel, but not a lot of their stuff that's ongoing. I'm don't get up in all the Venom hype just I don't know why just don't really personally care and I'm not just going to chase stuff for spec reasons and uh, I'd read the Immortal Hulk which is really fantastic I was reading the J.J. Abraham Spider-Man stuff that just started right before COVID happened and I'm looking forward to the next one of those coming out but just some random books now that uh, I picked up through this past week I did grab a Doomsday Clock number one just because I don't have this cover and Superman is my favorite DC hero and that, that artwork on it is just amazing. It's really cool. The one that I have is a lenticular cover with Warshack and like when you move it, it goes through the, the Trinity's different symbols on the space mask. It's really cool. And then just kind of going with the whole Jack Kirby theme of a lot of my videos lately, I did pick up New Gods number eight. New Gods number nine, the first forager. A copy of New Gods number ten. And we got Forever People number two, which is the first appearance of the Sod as well as Mantis. And the Sod's about to be making his theatrical debut in the Snyder Cut of Justice League. If you watch DC Fandom or any of the stuff that came out of it from a couple weeks ago, you saw the Snyder Cut trailer and it actually had the Sod in there. He looked awesome. And then this past, uh, it was just yesterday, kind of came across a good little score of stuff. Uh, again, Hulk is my favorite Marvel hero, always has been. And uh, got the Marvel features number one with the first appearance of the Defenders, but I just grabbed their first annual back when they called them King Size. It's from 1976. Just not a, not a major key, but it's just if you enjoy the Hulk, the Defenders are where it's at. I did get the first appearance of Firestorm this past week. From Ronnie Raymond. He's an awesome character, the nuclear man. Has a really fantastic cover, awesome artwork. 
Mm. It's a really cool character. How it's Professor Stein and him merge to make one character, and yeah. And then some of the big the big hitters that I got this week was I've got an extremely extremely high grade copy of the first appearance of She Hulk. It's 1979, the Savage She Hulk issue number one. And this is a near perfect book. The only thing that I can see is just a little bit of tiny stress on the spine in the white area right there. And as promised, I'm the host of the most. Tell them, hey, hey. who's that? I know, it's not right, is it? That's She-Hulk. Why? Yeah. <laughs> That's feminism, buddy. And then the big one for the week is a low to mid-grade copy of Ghost Rider number one. It's not the first appearance of Ghost Rider. And that's in a different book. But this is Ghost Rider issue number one in his first ongoing title. It is the first appearance of Damien Hellstrom, though. He's supposed to be getting his own series or movie or something soon. So hopefully that'll take off as well. But yeah, that Marvel Spotlight number five is the one for down the road. And now lastly, Finn, are you ready? Yeah. We have some packages to open. I know what one of them is. It's a, uh, it's a, it's one that I uh, sniped on eBay. eBay sniping at night has become an American pastime for me. It's one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I know what this one is, so we're going to open it first. My birthday was this. My wife's sitting here pissed off right now. She didn't wait for me to open this since I got home from work. But uh, this is a birthday present from my wife that she had. My best friend ordered for me. And uh, I'm, so we're going to open this one first and make them wait just a little bit longer. There she is. See, with her Hi. fandom shirt as well. We got the Joker Harley set. And this is uh, I'm super excited for this I have an idea. I know what that move? is. Yeah. I've been spent the last two weeks waiting on it to get here, just kind of running nope. possibilities through my head of what it could be, and I think I've nailed it. This thing is heavily taped. <laughs> Careful, buddy. All right, Finn. Okay, I'll be up. Here, pull. Pull. Pull it. Oh. Good job. Keep pulling. Go, go, go. Oh, that was packed nicely. All right. We got to unwrap it now, buddy. Why? Because we got to see what's in there. There's something really good in there. Okay. Okay. Now open book. Now open knit book. Huh? Now open knit book. You want to open it first? Open. You want me to open it? No, my nose. Well, if we ever needed bubble wrap, we got right. it now. <laughs> I'm glad it's braided because this bubble wrap even smells like a smoker's house. <laughs> <laughs> I hate cigarette smoke. Yeah, it is Superman. As a matter of fact, it's Superman. In Forever People issue number one, the first appearance of Dark Side. Very exciting stuff right I'm there. Admit, it's a 6.5. I'm very happy with that grade. This is in a cheap book. It's not, <laughs> not easy to come by in like a good looking copy in the price range I'd be willing to spend on it. And this one presents fantastically. Hmm? And that is an amazing book. Are you going to sit with me? And it goes well with all those other new guide books that I picked up this week. Just wait, what else is coming? All right, Finn, you ready to open birthday present? I said, he's the host, Mommy. He's the host. <laughs> I got kicked out the seat. All right, I was very, uh, very upset when I seen this. I said, this has to be from Macari. Who knows? I just hate envelope packaging like this. Do not bend. Well, then it looks like they bend it. You need this? Here. Oh, they did not bend it. Any pen? Some people use CLZ to keep track of their books. I'm old school. I get it from my dad. I use notebooks. <laughs> and it works out just fine. Just fine. <laughs> that was for Brent. Every time we're out in public and I don't bring that, I say, crap, I don't remember if I have that. And he says, CLZ. CLZ. <laughs> I'm not doing it, David. At this point, it's just 
too stubborn to fall for it. So my wife has no clue what this is. <laughs> Not for lack of her trying to keep up with what it is. Oh, cool. I'll see what it is. It's not what you thought it was. It's not. It's a Swam 309 with a fall in the gunslinger cover. Really cool. Wow. And it's super taped to this cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's spawn, buddy. Why? I don't know. It's scary. Is it scary? <laughs> it's not good. It's not really scary. It was just a mercenary that got killed brutally, went to hell, made a deal with the devil, came back to earth, and now he slays. Hey, what's that on eye? What is it? That eye? Yeah, he's got eyes up here. So he's got a he's got a hat on. It's a ten gallon hat. And and then the pew pew dude. He's got two yep. pew pews and then one pew pew on his back. So there's a Todd McFarlane gunslinger variant. I've got the the one that they did that was a uh, Frazetta Death Dealer variant. I love me some Frazetta art. And Death Dealer is a really cool character. But yeah, that was a cool birthday present. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. One more time. <laughs> oh, There'll be wow. some, real, some more no, cool stuff. You, you see cars? There'll be some more cool stuff up this alley coming uh, throughout the week. We've got tons of packages on the way. So we'll be getting them all throughout the week. I'm not sure if I'll open them all first and just show you at the end of the week or open them on camera. I thought you'd take so much time to open stuff on camera, so I might just open them ahead of time. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Tell them bye-bye. 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 I keep it down,